mind receives this way from external forces. So it's easily corrupted. Right? Especially when you're dealing with a species that inherently trusts. If you take advantage of the greatest quality of a group of people, you can render them useless. And the greatest quality humanity had ever had was trust. And someone exploited that. Right? And the mind started absorbing information that did nothing more than to aid in the destruction of the true connection between who they are and what is really fueling them as a being. The mind is the only place that any kind of corrupting can go down. You can almost say it's an unnatural thing. It's a creation. Right? It's it's a tool. It's not it's not you. you know, when, when I when when I'm building a house and I pick up the hammer, right? I, I'm not the hammer. I'm swinging it. I'm not the thought. I'm thinking it. See, so you you, re you you have to regain control over your mind. And you have to, for some, it gets so deep that they realize the mind they're using to live their life out isn't theirs. What do you mean by that? It belongs to somebody else? Someone else is uh, owning it that it's not the mind attached to your real being. It is a kind of a surrogate mind that satellites around you and fills you with... Okay, perfect example. I've been driving down the road. Suddenly you have a thought. It's very way outside what you normally think. Way outside. It's a little spooky. And you sit there, and I know you've all done this. Where the hell did that come from? Haven't you? Oh, yeah. Well, where did, you, where did it come from? Did you find out? Or did you just give up your inquiry? Gave up. Ah. There's no giving up on the path of enlightenment. The only thing you give up are the things that don't serve you. But you don't give up. You, you will find something very, very interesting if you probe that. It'll scare you to death. And which is why I don't. <laughs> I was shit scared out of me. <laughs> well, sometimes that's what it takes to get it out yeah. of you. Mm -hmm. you know, don't be um, obstinate enough to need a, 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 a huge wreck in your life to see it. That's what I, I mean, to me, that's the new, that's the newness of that. When I say this is a new thing, no, we're not losing anymore. No, we're not going to get all of our beautiful places laid to waste. No, we're not going to have our children decimated anymore. No, we're not going to have our culture stolen from us. We're not going to give up. We we'll take the world back. That means in the past I'm not going anywhere. Mm. Are you actually on it at that point? If you're on a path and you're not going anywhere, you're not on the path. You're sitting on the side of it with your dirt and your, your butt in the dirt, and the dirt in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's honesty. Well, but, 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 no, but, 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 that never leads to honesty. Mm -hmm. Leads to excuses and defenses. Yeah. Honesty is pretty much spoken and then tried to be dealt with. <laughs> As it shakes you to your foundation it gives you a migraine because you're just having such a hard time simplifying that to the point because you know it's just so simple and yet you just don't want to let go. I mean, it's kind of like grabbing a power line out here and yeah. from it. <laughs> fries you. This is a very, very, very strange life we're on. Very strange. Very interesting. But you can see where really not that difficult. Right. From that state, you could pretty much be pretty happy. I'd be happier too. 
Do you know how to stop thought? By negating it? effort is? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the effort is in staying <coughs> the two. So when you perceive that you're using your effort to wake up, you're using your effort to do is to keep your eyes closed at all cost while feeling woken up. And that's what effort really is. Because it's an effortless move. I mean, I don't know. I, I look, I, I've, I've got a tree that's grown in my yard. It's been growing there for a long time. And I walk out and it's bigger. <laughs> and I never heard a grunt in the middle of the night of... <laughs> I never heard it. It just kind of happened. <laughs> but you know what I have heard? Is a tree in the woods having part of its totality taken from it? Cry. And that changes you forever. And you watch people rip the luminosity out of others. Ugh. That's part of what you have to bear. Right? You can't go back to sleep. Stay awake. Yeah, that 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 hurt. Yes it did. But not that bad. Then it, it, it. Cause I see all the time. Somebody comes over to me and talks to my mother. <laughs> 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 Those are tough. Moms are tough. Especially when they get to the stage that you have to move them in with you. Oh. It took me 39 years. I'll go home with you. It took me 39 years to get my mom to a place where she texts me every day and tells me, you're, you're a good man. <laughs> I, I mean, it gets kind of emotional for me at this point, because I didn't want this for me originally. I wanted it for my mother. I wanted her to be what I always knew she was. Life itself. So I started looking for her. Is how I really started doing it. And then after a while, I was like, this feels good for me, too. You know, and it's very hard to do that because, you know, when people